What do you see on film watching the game last week? What do you see from yourself and the rest of the team? Uh, well, I, was, I guess I'll just start off with myself. Uh, I got, you know, a lot of very rusty. I got a lot of work ahead of myself, which I knew that going into the game. I knew that, you know, going into that week. I know that going into this week, you know, something that I knew going in, into that game that was going to be tough for me. It was, I was excited to get out there and, you know, try it out live. You know, it's, it's different speed in practice than it is in the, in the game. I wish I could have did some things a lot better than I did. I saw some things that I need to fix and some things I need to work on. And, you know, the best, the biggest part of it was, uh, you know, trying to build up my confidence, um, trying to get some confidence in this foot and, and pushing off on it and, and playing it and, and, and sustaining it against the other, other big guys going in, into me. So that was the biggest part. Does it help, oh, sorry. Does it help that right tackle because you're, anchoring off your left foot as opposed to your right one? Does that help the recovery, just get in terms of football shape back into the mix a little bit for you? Well, the uh, recovery part really had nothing to do with it. I mean, I definitely have to get in football shape. You know, I, I did a lot, a lot of running over there with Scotty and um, the training staff as much as I could, but you know, nothing's like getting in the football shape. So so definitely that that was good uh, going in the game, you know, getting some football shape. You know, in practice, I'm pushing myself extra hard. But the biggest thing that, that I need for myself to get to where I want to be is just more repetition, just more practice. And, you know, I, the good thing is time time is on my side. So that's a good thing. I, I got time to get this stuff fixed. I got time to get get more comfortable over there. I got time to get get a better feel uh, of that, that side and the different mechanics and techniques over there. So that's one thing I'm happy about, that, that time is on my side. Uh, you know, I've been staying at the practice with, with Coach Cable, you know, every day. Um, you know, doing stuff, working on, on sets, working on certain techniques and stuff, just so I could get into, um, you know, me playing left tackle so 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 long. It's like I don't have to think about it. Sometimes I just know, you know, right tackle. Now I got to think about, you know, this step. You know, I got to flip the play in my head. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it, and I'm picking up well. But you know, I feel like every day I'm getting better and better at it. Every day it's getting more comfortable. You know, like today it felt. A lot more comfortable out there today, you know, doing my sets. I think tomorrow's when you get even more better. So that's a good thing. Time's on my on my side. I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with it as the every day goes. When do you expect that that comfort level to reach 100? percent Do you expect it by week one? When's the first game? September 10th. September 10th, baby. <laughs> September 10th. That thing better be going. It better be going. It's gonna be going, but not. Nah, uh, now nah, I feel like I, I feel like I'll be ready. I definitely be ready by September 10th. Uh, Especially with, like I said, with with each day, I feel like I'm getting better. Like, uh, well, when we played Friday, like Saturday, I came out here, I did a couple of sets on air out here after my workout, and those felt better than they did Friday night. You know, so like I said, every day I'm I'm being able to work it, work those sets, get get a, get in the comfortable uh, rhythm. That's what it is, you know. As a tackle, you know, I've been playing this. This is my 13th year playing. I, you know, left tackle, I got a sweet rhythm over there. You know, I know that rhythm. I know I could, I could get in the left tackle stands right now. I'll show you that rhythm. It's gonna look sweet. You know, right tackle, I'm trying to find that rhythm right now. And that's why, you know, the more time, which is good, time's on my side. The more time, more repetition, you know, like in practice, you know, Coach Gruden might die, to da uh, die down the tempo, but I'm still telling the guy to go hard on me because I need, to, I need those extra reps from what I miss. So like I said, the more time comes, the more comfortable, the more confidence, the more, um, you know, confidence I get in that foot. And, and it's coming along. A fourth preseason game, that's something that usually I wouldn't even ask about for you because you're a veteran, you're a starter, and it might not make sense for you to be out there. But given that game reps and uh, you know, just being out there, is that something that you expect to be on the field on Thursday, or are you going to kind of just get what you need out of practice? I haven't. Uh, they haven't discussed that with me. They haven't brought that to me. But one thing I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be um, mad about that. I would definitely be open to that, especially with my situation, with what, where I'm coming from, coming back from the serious injury, missing a lot of football, missing a lot of camp. I would, I would not be be down to that. I would be very open to that if they do decide to do that. I know you guys as players respect a guy like Khalil who's you know trying to look out for what's best for him long term. But how, how does a, a guy like that being out of camp here for the first few weeks impact what you guys are trying to do? Man, it doesn't impact us at all, man. It's a, it's the next guy up. It's part of the business game. Uh, every guy in that locker room, well, I know how it is. I've been through it what three times already in my career. But those guys know it's the business side of this. They know, you know, as a professional athlete, when you're not here, you have to take care of yourself. And I know Khalil's out there working his butt off. Just like I was when I was um, holding out, uh, I, I hope and I pray it gets done real fast because he's 
him and Derek are the heartbeat of this team, man. We want them here, but I don't think it's affecting us. I think it's helping us. You know, we know what Khalil could do. Everybody knows what Khalil could do. Now we got guys like Key getting all these reps out there. We got Fadal, who's coming out here just, just balling. He's having a great camp, man. My hat's off to him. And, and Key, they both are having a great camp. So we've been giving these guys reps and these guys time to grow. You know, it kind of helped that I was hurt this offseason too because Colton's been able to get all those reps and been able to grow and, and, and get better, which is going to help us as a team when Khalil does get here and we all do go in there full force. As somebody who's been in that spot before, what, what is kind of going through your head as a player when I'm sure, like, I'm sure when you were holding out, you wanted to be out on the field. I'm sure he wants to be out there, but you also have to kind of balance that with the business side of things. So, I mean, imagine it's kind of an awkward spot to be in. Yeah, I mean, it definitely is. You know, watching the team play, my, my, the big hardest time for me was when, when the team played, you know, watching those games. And I was anxious. I was like, man, I want to be out there. Man. I want to be playing. Like, that's probably the hardest hardest time, uh, you know, the anxiousness and, you know, wanting to be out there. You know, we play football our whole life, so when it gets taken away, it's hard, you know, especially when you don't want to give away. Like, if I wanted to retire and it got taken away that way, that's something different. But getting it taken away when you don't really want to take it away, it's hard on you. It's hard. So, you know, you just got to take a good mindset. I, um, I talked to Khalil right before the Rams game. He's in good spirits. He's doing good. So, uh, I'm just looking forward to getting him back. I just want him back, and I know he wants to be back. And, you know, he deserves everything he's going to get when he gets it. Couple more guys. In terms of uh, Lynch, what have you seen from him during the course of this preseason? Is there any difference between this year and last? Uh, I know he loves his run scheme. I know he's very comfortable with his run scheme. He, he, he knows it well. He picks it up well. He, he, he tells us, you know, this year he's telling us things that he's seeing and things that he wants us to do, um, which wasn't was what he wasn't doing last year because he was still learning. He was knowing, he was learning a lot, but this year he already knows what's been put in, you know, bringing Cable back. So he's molding it and making it the way he wants it. And we're all, you know, falling right behind him. And uh, I'm very excited about the run game. Has it, has it ever felt at all like John has been out for a decade? Nah, a not at all. He picked up where he left off. You know, I was with him when the last time he coached. And, you know, this time I feel like he he's he's more advanced. He, he's, he's gotten even smarter. And it, that's crazy to say because he knows so much already. And I feel like he's learned he, even more during that time off. And he's just... He's so much more on point. He was already on point back then, but it's like he's so much more on point. It's hard to explain it, but uh, I felt like he put, picked up a lot more football knowledge in his time off. Last one, guys. Gruden has challenged a lot of the young players on this roster and wanting more out of some of those guys. He seems very pleased with what he's gotten so far in the rookie class, particularly those on the defensive line. What have you seen from Arden Key, Bo Hurst, P.J. Hall? I know Reggie hasn't started yet, but thus far. That's how Gruden is. That's how he gets the best out of his players. I mean, I was a young buck. Um, with Gruden, and he, he got a lot out of me when I started playing early. That's what he does. You know, he, he loves to develop young players. He loves to watch them grow. Um, I'm, I'm a walking testament of it. So, you know, with him staying on these young guys is great. It's great because he's going to compliment you when you do it right, and he's going to let you know when you do it wrong. And he's going to let everybody know when you do it wrong, too. So that's a good thing because it's going to raise their level of standards. But the key, he, he, he is very superb. I, uh, I was like, watching OTAs, I was like, ah, oh, he's all right, I don't know. But he came in the training camp and took another, took a huge leap forward, you know, from OTAs training camp. He's doing great things. I, I really wish he could get some more action and time out there. You know, he, he's battling uh, some, a little, a little, a little, a little something, ankle sprain or something right now. But he's doing great things, and I, I can't wait to see more of him. Uh, he's doing good. And then those two, two young guys in there, they're just battling. They're two bulls. They're, um, I like Hurst coming out of college, and um, you know, I'm sorry. He, he dropped, but those two young guys are really coming in, doing good things for us. Um, me going against them finally in practice, I'm seeing how big and strong they are. You know, I see how hard they are to move off of double teams and stuff, and I'm happy about that because it's going to help us as a team going forward.